Hello everyone, my name is Skits and welcome to second episode of Fallen New Vegas Mods Weekly. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. So have you always disliked the look of man's faces in a base game and you liked what Nuska did to the woman in his Women's of the Wasteland? Well then you're certainly going to like Men's of the Wasteland by Dumber. This mod adds a set of playable races with massively improved head meshes and facial textures. Like Moator himself stated, it's basically what Nuska did to women but done to man. When you download the mod, you can open up console, type in show race menu and there you can see Drumber's version of races. The vanilla version stays in the game as well, so if for some odd reason you like some of the vanilla races more than Drumber's version, you can still use them. As you can see, the Drumber's version of races look a lot better than vanilla ones. I especially like what he did to Asian and Hispanic race. The textures are also a lot more detailed and resemble reality a lot more. Right now the races aren't obliged to everyone in the wasteland, which is a shame, but Modager stated that he is working on it. He also wants to redo the ghouls and get rid of the next scene, and I wish him good luck with that. He also made the DCE, the detailed faces mod, so definitely check that out too. Overly, I really like this mod and I recommend downloading it. The next mod we'll be taking a look at is called Crosshair Ultimate Project, shortly CUP by Aramander. This mod adds 15 types of new crosshairs in the game, replacing the vanilla one. Each of crosshairs has two versions of it, one with the dot in the middle and one without it. And there is also an optional file that removes crosshair completely. As you can see there is a lot to choose from, so I'm not going to show you all of them because it's just too much work. So instead I'm going to show you like 4 or 5 of them, then you can check the full list on the mod page and choose the one you like. Also one reminder to you, if you use the Project Nevada, disable the dynamic crosshair from it or else you won't see the one you downloaded in the game because Project Nevada just takes over. So go ahead and try this mod out, I'm sure you'll find the crosshair you will like. Moving on to the armor mods, we have Military Survivor Armor by Spam PTRS, the guy who made tons of awesome guns, you should definitely check them out and I guess he moved to armor mods now. You can find it at the Guardian's Peak that is right next to Camp Guardian inside of a tent. As you can see it uses the NCR's armor model, but the new textures on it look amazing, I love all the details put it into it and small things on it like the pouches, belts, the armor on the knee and also the boots, I don't know why but I really like them. The armor was inspired by Carl's Farburn armor from Sniper Elite V2 and it has a small World War II feeling. It also has a few bonuses, plus 15 carry weight, plus 5 sneak and plus 5 survivor. The armor fits for lore very well, it looks beautiful while also giving a good amount of protection and is that type of armor you could take for a nice long journey across the wasteland. And it is also one of the few new armor mods on the Nexus right now, so I definitely recommend downloading it. Next up we have Russell, companion slash quest mod made by Guy 2000 the same guy who also made New Vegas Bounties 1, New Vegas Bounties 2 and Inheritance. In his newest mod you will meet Russell, an ex-desert ranger who pursues a bounty on a man called Glanton. The mod adds a new quest called Hunter Hunted, over 1000 lines of dialogue, one new weapon and armor set, a new world space called Carol or Canyon, several random scripted encounters, the main story that provides around 2 or 3 hours of gameplay with an ending slideshow. Now the Russell himself has a unique look with his burned out face that is very touchy about. Oh, you really want to know? Fuck you. I don't ask about that scar on your dome. So pay me the same courtesy, okay? He's of course fully voice acted, the whole mod is actually, except for Vickers, even though he has a voice actor for him in the credits, maybe it was just a bug. I also like his rough personality, he's also effective in combat with a funny battle line, and of course he gives you his own perk. Now the quest is also very good with some interesting characters, but since I don't want to spoil it for you, I won't be showing you more of it, you just have to trust me and some guy 2000. It also features evolving dungeons, which means that the locations will change over time as you interact with inhabits, and it is also full enough mesh so you can bring your own companions. I say some guy 2000 did a very good job with this mod, I'm looking forward to more from him, and you should definitely download it. Moving on to the weapon mods, the first one I have for you is called LMG Velociraptor GR5000 by my Batsu, the author of Sapphire Rifle. Only way you can obtain it is to craft it at a workbench with a light machine gun, 5 scrap electronics, 5 scrap metal and a repair skill of 70. As you can see the gun looks absolutely amazing, the model and meshes are great, the textures are high resolution with a ton of small custom things on them, like this little nuclear symbol on a handle and it also has its own custom pitboy icon. The gun looks similar to one of the sold rifles from Borderlands 2, I think it was called spin gun or something like that. Now in the combat the gun is very effective, I reduced the population of Mojave outpost 
to ashes within minutes. So for me it's a little bit overpowered, but that doesn't change the fact that this, this gun is really amazing. So if you don't mind overpowered guns, you should definitely check it out. Get some. No! Get some. Murder! What have you done? Come on! Get some. Next up we have M1 Carbine by Cicada11, same guy who also made M1903 Springfield Rifle, which we reviewed last week. This week's weapon from him is again 100% scratch made with custom textures, model, meshes and of course sound. Textures look a lot better than his previous weapon, they're a little bit darker and dirtier and fit for lore a lot more. The model is simple but still very good and again I love the custom sounds. Skada 11 is one of the few modders that adds custom sounds for his guns and that's what I like about him. You can also mod it, but I could only find one mod for it, the other one wasn't even on sale at Garner's place and when I applied the modification the gun completely changed into more looking carbine and I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen or if it just was mods conflicting with each other but if it was supposed to happen then you basically get two guns in one pack because modded version has a new textures and new model and also increased rate of fire but like I said, it may not happen in your game. In combat the gun is ok, not too strong, not too weak, so it's great for normal use and overall it's a very nice gun and you should definitely try it out. The third weapon I have for you is called AS50 by Black Weaver. You can find a free copy in Doug Mitchell's house placed on his table. The weapon has its own custom textures and model and it looks a little bit like anti-material rifle to me. The textures are high resolution, dirty enough to fit the file lore so I really like them. The model also looks nice too, it has a lot of small details like the holes in it and you can see that the monitor put a lot of work in it and I'm not sure about the sounds, they sound that custom to me. In combat the weapon was very powerful, it one shot at anyone I used it on, but since it uses 50 MG munition it is kind of balanced. Overall it's just a nice gun based on real life sniper rifle, so if you like this type of guns you should go ahead and check it out. I've got you now. What have you done? And the last weapon we'll be taking a look at is called A12 Shotgun by Serial Self Killer. You can find it again in Doug Mitchell's house in the cabinet. The weapon comes in two versions, one is a regular shotgun and the second one is called LE Cleaner and is basically better at everything. You can also mod the regular version with a drum magazine that increases its capacity from 8 to 20. As you can see it has both custom textures and a model, the textures are highly detailed, a little bit clean but they still look good. I like Ali Cleaner's textures a lot more, they are more detailed and look better in my opinion. I'm not sure about the sounds, they sounded custom to me and it also has a small effect or maybe a bug that when you fire it, it doesn't shoot right away but a little bit later which was a little weird but interesting. In combat it works just like every shotgun, deadly in bats, not so much in normal shooting mode but overall it is a good and interesting gun and you should definitely check it out. So yeah guys, I guess that's, that's about it for the second episode of our Fallen Vegas Mass Weekly. I know it was a little bit shorter, but I still hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments. Subscribe for more Fallout and Skyrim content, and I'll see you We've next time.